Shalom, welcome back. Today we should be finishing, unless it takes too long to get through, the Megillah, the whole Megillah. <laughs> Lamentations chapter 5, the last chapter of the book of Echa. We'll be beginning with chapter 5, verse 11 in the Hebrew. Hmm. Oh, sorry, verse 12. I just recognize this is what we read yesterday. Sarim be'adam nitlu penei zekeinim lo nechdaru. Sarim. Princes. Be'adam. By the yad of Am. Be'adam. By their hands. Nitlu. This is from the verb tala. Tav. Lamed. Hey, which means to hang. So this is a nifal. You can see this is a performative noon. So this makes it were hanged. So princes by their hands were hanged. The inference is our princes, right? Pene zekenim, the face, the presence of zekenim of elders. Lo, not nedaru. So this is the verb hadar, also in a nifal. We have nifal, nifal, nifal all over the place. Hadar is to honor. Nechdar is to be honored. So lo nechdaru, they were not honored. So the presence of elders was not honored. Verse 13. Bachurim techon nasa'u. Bachurim. A bachur is a young man. Usually, you know, like 21 is a perfect example of a bachur. A young man. Sometimes this is used in reference to military ability. Right? Ready to fight. So, and this is, of course, reminding us of, we just read Betulot up above, right? The virgins were raped by Arei Yehuda in the cities of Judah. So now we have, and we had Zekenim in the mix, elders, and now we have Bakurim, young men. Techon. Techon. Techon, this is rare, but you can see the verbal form is Tachan, Tet, Chet, Nun. Tachan is to grind. Right to grind, and this is an object that's used for grinding. So techon is a portable mill, right, or a mill that you maybe not necessarily portable, but you have to. It's a manual mill. You're grinding it. You're grinding the grain and all that stuff by hand. It's not an ox that's doing the work. So like a hand mill, something like that. Bachurim techon, young man, a grinder, a hand mill, nasau. They carry up. Probably the idea is they compel, right? So they, they make young men, meaning our captors, the kind of invisible rapists from up above and the ones who, who have hung these our princes, our sarim, and who show no respect to the elders. Arim and youths, ba'aitz kashalu. With the wood, kashalu, they stumble. The idea is under the load. It's so much, they're making the children do work, so much hard work. Verse 14. Zekeinim me sha'al shavatu bachorim minaginatam or Miniginatam Zekenim Elders or old men Mesha'al Shavatu from the Sha'ar, it's a gate or like the city gate. Shavatu, this is from Shavat to seize, to stop. Right? So they've stopped from the city gate. Of course, in ancient times, the city gate is. Oftentimes where wisdom was sought, 
where there were judicial matters that were decided. And some of the sages even comment that Lot was a judge in Sodom because he was found at the city gates, right? So old men or elders have ceased from the gate. Misha'ar shavatu. From the gate they have ceased. Of course, this verb you should recognize from the, no, from the noun we know, Shabbat, right? The day of cessation, the day where we don't work. Saturday. Bachurim, young men, mineginatam. Okay, it seems like before I had been paused when I did 15 and 16, so I'm going to record this and try to insert it in the video. Hopefully you can get that inserted in in time. Oi, so here's verse 15. Shavat mesos libenu. Shabbat, you know this from Shabbat. Shabbat means to stop or to cease. Right? The idea is to stop working from Shabbat. Mesos libenu, a contract chain. Mesos, so this is like related to the word if you've heard sason. Sason is joy. And so is this word here. It's usually masos with a comment here, ah, but because it's a construct chain, it became mesos. So mes masos is, is joy. Mesos is joy of. So the joy of libenu, of the heart of nu, the joy of our heart, shavat, it ceased. So the joy of our heart ceased. Nehpach, hafach is to pour, or to, uh, to, to, to turn. In the Nephal, it's to overturn or to be changed. Nehpach le'evel mecholeinu. Mechol is dancing. Similarly, from the word machol, machol became mechol, dancing of nu, of us. So our dancing, nehpach le'evel, became mourning. So Shabbat mesos le'beinu, the joy of our hearts ceased. Our dancing turned over or changed to Avail, morning. Verse 16. Okay, so Nafela, this is from Nafal, which is to fall. Fallen ones would be not Nephilim, but Nophilim would be fallen ones. Perhaps a title for fallen angels. <clears throat> Nafela is feminine, so she fell. Who's the she? This construct chain. Ra'ateret rosheinu. Ra'ateret is a diadem or a crown, sometimes a wreath. So the crown of the rosh, the head of nu, of us. So the crown of our head. Nafela fell. Oi, na, lanu. Whoa, or alas, na, now. Lanu to us. Ki for chatanu. We have sinned. Okay, I'll insert that in the video right before 17. Let's hope that it, <laughs> it's okay, you guys. Don't mind. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. And we show no respect to the elders. Arim and youths ba'itz kashalu with the wood kashalu they stumble. The idea is under the load. It's so much they're making the children do work. So much hard work. Verse fourteen. Zekainim me sha'al shavatu bachorim minaginatam or minaginatam zekainim elders or old men me sha'al shavatu from the Sha'ar, it's a gate, or like the city gate. Shavatu, this is from Shavat, to seize, to stop. 
right? So they've stopped from the city gate. Of course, in ancient times, the city gate is oftentimes where wisdom was sought, where there were judicial matters that were decided. And some of the sages even comment that Lot was a judge in Sodom because he was found at the city gates, right? So old men or elders have ceased from the gate. Misha'ar shavatu. From the gate they have ceased. Of course, this verb you should recognize from the no, from the noun we know, Shabbat, right? The day of cessation, the day where we don't work. Saturday. Bachurim, young men, mineginatam. Mm, I just unpaused. I don't know how much was paused for. Oi. I think I paused when I took the drink and I didn't unpause. So let's just back up here. Because of this or concerning this, our heart was or became Dave. Dave is like sick or faint, weak. I was mentioning before when it was paused, that it was most often associated with menstruation. Concerning these, chashichu einenu. Chashichu, from the word chashach, related to choshach, which many of you know means darkness. Chashach is became dark. Chashichu, they became dark. Einenu, our eyes have grown dark dark. Verse 18. Boy, I really hope I didn't have it paused on a bunch of the teaching. And then we have a pay, showing there's a big paragraph mark break in the traditional text. Zion. On Mount Zion, or concerning Mount Zion, Sheshamim, which Shamim, from the verb Shamam, here it's an adjectival form, um, whose desolation, or which is desolate, which is vanquished. Interesting. Another another text says She Hashmam. She Hashmam, interesting. Shu Alim Foxes. Hilechu. From the verb halach and a PL they they go about, they walk about vo in it. Right? It's, it's so destroyed that even foxes aren't scared. Those little guys are not worried to go about in the ruins. Verse 18, I mean 19, Ata Adonai Le'olam Teshiv Kisacha Le'dovado Ata, you Adonai, Adonai and on Some manuscripts, I checked it here, say Ve'ata Oh, no, it's not Ve'ate, interesting, ve'ate. So ve'ate would be like, and come, if that's what's right. So come, more common in Jewish Aramaic than in Hebrew. But here it's just ata, ata. You, O Adonai, the Alam, are forever, or from eternity. You can translate the Lamed as from as well. Teishim, kizacha, ledo. Teish is from the verb yashav. The yod has disappeared. The tav is you. You shall sit. And oftentimes regarding Hashem, this word 
Sitting is a pregnant expression, so it implies you will sh sit enthroned. So, so you shall sit. Kis acha. Your kise, your throne. Ledol vadol, for generation and generation, which is a Hebrew idiom meaning forever. Verse 20. Lama Lama. Why? For what reason? La Netzach. La Netzach is like forever. And that makes sense. We have a nice Hebrew parallelism with a different word up here in verse 19. Le Alam. And now we have La Netzach. In the Siddur, there's a phrase, Netzach, Netzachim, right? Which is the same as Olame, Olamim. Tishkachenu. Will you forget nu, us? Tishkachenu. Ta azvenu. Will, again, the force of the Lama seems to, it feels to me like it applies further. Like, Lama. Why is it la netzach forever? Tishkachenu, you will forget us? Lama, why? Ta'azvenu, ta'azvenu, will you abandon us? Le'oech yamim, for lengthy days, or lengthiness of days, li days literally. Verse 21. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Venashuva Hadesh Yamenu Kekedim Hashivenu The verb is Shuv, like Teshuva, Shuv, return. This is a he fill imperative, you can tell by the Yod and by the He. So cause to return. Bring back Nu, bring us back, O oh, Yod He, Wow He, Elecha. Unto you, Venashuva, and we will return. We will come back. The noon is from Nachnu. Nashuv. Okay, I read it as Nashuva. Well, that's how it's pointed. There should be a hey here at the end. Yeah, you can see the the carry is how I read it. Nashuva, and we will return, or let us return, or we will indeed return. That extra hey, Nashuv, means we will return, but Nashuva is indeed we will return. May we return with cohortative force. Chadesh, this is an imperative, a command from Chadash. Many of you know the word Chadash. Um, a mental note would be what many call the the Habrit HaChadesha, right? The New Covenant, right? Brit is feminine, so hence Chadesha, right? Well, this is a verb, and it's the PL, so it's a little bit stronger force than just being new. Chadesh. So this is renew. Renew. It's a command. Renew. Yamenu. These are the yamim of new. Our days. Our days. Kekedim. As of antiquity. Or as of yore, as of old. <clears throat> You'll often see the phrase, drop the new, drop the cough. It'll be yemei kedem, days of yore, something like that. It sounds poetic in the Hebrew. Let me get another drink. Yeah, I did not pause. In case you have questions. Ki im maos. Wow, we're on the last verse. Ki'im. But instead, or now if, ma'os me'astanu. So ma'as means to reject, to refuse. And this is an infinitive absolute. And the second one, the, so the ma'os is the infinitive, 
And ta is the conjugated form. Usually, when you have that infinitive absolute first, it has the feeling of indeed, right? Indeed. Now, I feel like this key over here is going to be like uh, if indeed. So, we like if, if we have here. Let's see, some manuscripts. Okay, that's fine. If indeed, ma'os, again, that's another indeed, ma'as ta'nu, you have rejected. So, ma'as ta'nu, rejected you, us, katsafta, katsaf, kof, or some say kuf, tsari, pe, katsaf means to be angry. Right? We get the word ketsef, anger from that. Katsaf ta, you were angry. Alenu against us. Ad meod until exceedingly much. Now, if indeed you have rejected us, you are angry against us or concerning us. Very much so. Kind of an odd ending, right? Sometimes I guess it's useful just to acknowledge when someone is angry. One thing, just think about this. I remember Dahud in one of his commentaries on the Psalms says that Me'od can be. Ma'od, like a divine epithet for God, like the grand one. And Ad can also be an epithet like eternally. So like, oh, eternal grand one or something like this is a possibility. It doesn't really help with this kind of difficult verse, but it might just be that the poet is acknowledging Hashem's anger right at the end. All right, let's read through that one more time. Lamentations, chapter 5. Verse, I think, 11 we started, or 12 we started with today, right? Yeah, that's right. Verse 12. Sarim be'adam nitlu penei keni lo nechdaru. By their hands, our princes have been hanged. The presence of the elderly are not respected. Bachurim tchon nasau onearim ba'it kashalu. Young men, a hand grinder, they lift up. <clears throat> I think this is the enemies who are the they's, right? Like they, they cause they they cause them to hurt. Or it could just be the men themselves. kashalu, and youths under the weight of wood, literally just by the wood, they stumble. <clears throat> Fourteen zekeni misha shavatu, elders or old men. From a gate, have they've ceased? Bachurim mineginatam, young men from their song or their music. <clears throat> Verse fifteen: Shavat mesos libenu nechpach leevel mecholenu. The joy of our heart has ceased. Our song has turned to mourning. I think we'll make these a bit bigger. Let's make this bigger. Oh, that's the biggest? Really? I'm usually can do bigger than this. That's strange. Okay, fine. 16. Nafala ateret roshenu Oi na lanu ki the diadem of our head, the crown of our head, symbolizing the glory, 
has fallen. Alas, or oi now to us, woe to us now, for we have sinned. Verse 17. On account of this, our hearts were faint, were sick, were dizzy. On account of these, our eyes darkened. Verse 18. Upon Mount Zion, or on account of Mount Zion, which is in ruins, which is devastated. Foxes walk around in it, or like walk freely in it. Pay. Hey, it's the end of a, there's a section break there. Verse 19. So the variant manuscript said, Ate Adonai, which would mean calm Adonai, right? Ate is a synonym with Bo. More common in Aramaic. It might be an Aramaism altogether. But as is written in the Masorah, Ata Adonai, you, O Adonai, Le'alam, forever, for eternity or since eternity, Teshev Kisacha Le'dorvador. You sit, and it's pregnant expression implying enthroned, Kisacha, your throne is Le'dorvador, for generation and generation, a Hebrew idiom meaning. Forever. Verse 20. Lama la netzach tishkachenu ta'azvenu le'orech yamim. For what purpose eternally do you forget us? Or for so long do you forget us? And then that for what purpose feels to me like double duty force. For what purpose ta'azvenu have you abandoned us? Or do you abandon us? It's an imperfect. It's ongoing. Le'orech yamim. For such a long time, literally, for length of days. 21. Bring us back, O Adonai. Eilecha, unto you. And indeed we will return. Renew. Our days as of yore, as of old, as of ancient times. 22. But instead, or now if, or unless, it can mean any of those things. Maos me'astanu. You have indeed rejected us. Katsafta, you are angry. La'inu, against us. La'ad, me'od, until much so. Or, unless, as I was mentioning, unless these are divine epithets, O oh, eternal grand one. That is the end of Echa. You can see the next one is Esther. We already have Esther out there if you'd like to go through that. For Purim or just on your own, you want to go through the whole book of Esther. And it's been in completely indexed by our by one of our index volunteers. Thank you so much for that. It's a bit shorter tonight, I realize, but I hope, uh, or this morning, what the case may be, I hope you're happy. We're done with Echa. And tomorrow, we will get back to our normal style of slower immersion, right? And then sometimes we'll shift gears occasionally. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. And as always, please consider becoming a patron. You can go to my Patreon page if you want to support what I'm doing here at patreon.com slash Hebrew literacy. Or you can just pick up my book, my own translation of Genesis from about five or six years ago. But still, got some interesting content in there I think you might like. 
And uh, we would really appreciate it. If not, then please pray for the ministry. Either way, please pray for us. We really appreciate that. And leave me a comment down below if you're watching this later and you have a question or something you didn't understand. This has been a difficult text, so please do not feel bad about it. There's some books in the Hebrew Bible which are very poetic, and it makes them difficult, but it's worth the struggle. Believe me. Till next time, pray for our troops. Shalom, shalom.